Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to Henry Channel. So in this video, I've got an HP 255 G8 laptop and I'm going to show you three things, guys. Yes, three things. BIOS, UEFI, boot menu and diagnostics. So let's get started. Power on the laptop and now keep tapping F10 key. So keep pressing it. When this message shows up, then let go. And then BIOS, UEFI will show up on your screen. Okay, so F10 key. As you can see, there's different menu tabs to choose from. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip through them all and show you what they consist of. Right, after that, I'm going to show you boot menu option. First of all, you need to enable this. So this is the USB. It's got Windows on it. So what you need to do is first you need to obviously put it in. So it's got Windows Creation Tools, Microsoft 11 on this USB. So what you need to do, first and foremost, you need to go to boot options and enable UEFI boot. So I've just enabled it now, as you can see, this one. Yeah, so you need to enable this. And then what you need to go to now is exit and save and exit, basically. Select the first one. Yes. Your laptop will restart. And then you need to keep tapping F9 on a blank screen, guys. So once the laptop restarts, keep tapping it let go when you see this again first of all the first one will always be your windows partition so it will always be your operating system the second one as you can see it says flash drive so this is usb flash drive select that one on your one it might be a bit different uh, how it's worded so enter i pressed enter now what I'm going to do, guys, this is going to take a bit of a while to load up. So I'm going to fast forward this and get to Windows 11 startup. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm at Windows 11 startup with my USB boot drive, flash drive. I'm going to exit and show you guys how to get into diagnostics now. So if you've got problems with a USB memory, etc., you keep tapping F2 key. Yes, so when your laptop restarts or powers on for the first time, F2 key will bring you onto this page. Let me show you guys F2. So as you can see, this is the hardware diagnostics. So if you're facing any hardware issues, then you can test each one. So each hardware you can test. So guys, I hope this video has helped you. Please like and subscribe to the channel. And usual, I will catch you on the next one.